I know that what you're saying may feel like resolved to you, but I think to some people it may just feel like, OK, they're waving a flag, but in truth, nothing much has changed. Well, I think that let's first turn to those other types of measures that we've had in the past, and you've just talked again about whether it's work from home or other social distancing measures. We know now that those measures, those types of measures, they do carry a very heavy price. Uh, they, you know, both economically, uh, socially, in terms of non-COVID you know, health outcomes, such as your know, impact on mental health, for example. So if one was to make decisions like that, they'd have to be you know, done very, very carefully. And we're not there yet. We're nowhere near that. And, and the reason is because we just got to step back and take a proportionate and balanced response. And what we have done by, first of all, you know, targeting travel from those countries where we know uh, there's a particular risk from this variant, uh, secondly, by asking people, all travellers, to, to take a, a, a test and, and, and wait for a negative result. I think that is proportionate. And what we've said on face masks and also boosting the booster programme. Now, I'm still waiting for final advice on that, but focusing on the vaccinations and these other measures, I think this is the right response. Now, of course, there will be people okay. out there, of course, that will say, look, why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that? The, the job of government is to look at the facts that we have and, uh, and, and make a decision that is proportionate and but, balanced, and that's, ex 